Hey everyone, real quick, we just want to say a massive thank you to Intel for partnering up with us on this video. For the next 48 hours, we are going to be showing you everything to see, do and eat here in the city of love, Paris. And trust us, there's a lot more to see in Paris than just the Eiffel Tower. With two days, you're going to keep yourself very busy in the city. Hey, we're Stephen, Jess and Hunter, a little family from Australia who've spent the last few weeks exploring France. From seeing real life fairy tale towns in Colmar to make believe ones in Disney. We're in Paris! <laughs> When in France, this is gonna be Hunter's first macaron, but can you call that a macaron? <laughs> Do you like it? I feel like the only way you can start your time here in Paris is going to a local patisserie and of course picking yourself up a croissant and a little coffee. So Stephen, cheers. Chocolate or plain? Oh mate, I'm grabbing this one. <laughs> of course. Look at this. It's warm too. Cheers. Oh yum, Steve. I don't know if it's like the excitement that we're back in Paris, but seriously, these croissants are like the best croissants I've ever had. And this is just a random place that we just walked past. I'm all like, that looks nice, but we're gonna be eating a lot of stuff while we're here, aren't we, Steve? <laughs> so we're just on our way to the Notre Dame, and then we saw that there was a place selling fresh lemon and mint drink, and people are doing some sort of like rollerblading thing. <laughs> that looks so fresh. Do you want to taste? Lemon drink. That is so fresh. It's quite sour. <laughs> Fresh lemon and mint, that's it. So it's like the little things as parents. First time Hunter has ever seen somebody rollerblade. He's dressed up in France, in Paris, doing tricks. One more time. <laughs> that just shows how fresh it is. <laughs> So everybody, welcome to the Cathedral of Notre Dame. We were so lucky about seven years ago, we came here, we walked through, we did the steps to the top, amazing view, we explored it. And then a few years later, of course, in 2019, the fires happened, we came down here, I think maybe just a few weeks or few months after it happened. Now it's three years later, they're about halfway through the restoration. They're hoping 2024, so a couple of more years, that we should be able to climb those steps again. But if you're coming to Paris between now and then, I still think it's worth just making the stop and coming and checking it out. So if you guys have done the walk out to Notre Dame, but you still want to go inside and see a beautiful building, just a five minute walk is St. Chapel, which we've just come into. It's cool because so many cathedrals, chapels you go to, the beauties on the bottom floor as you walk in. But we've been told, keep going up, 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 because that's where the beauty of this chapel is. It's a 13th century Gothic style chapel. Absolutely stunning. There's 15 stained glass windows that are each depicting parts of the Bibles so yeah, here from Genesis, Exodus, all the way through and it's just a marvel to look at this architecture still in pristine condition these stained glass windows go all the way up like look at that definitely recommend it especially coming out to the little island that it's on come check it out it's about 11 euros to come inside but worth every penny <laughs> It's really cool. We're just walking along the river because it simply looks beautiful. There's cafes, there's bars, there's live music. It's like a lot going on and it's a nice spot to just go for a stroll. So it's doing a little thinking and you know how everyone's like, certain art pieces are priceless and you have to admit majority if not all the people that come to the Louvre they're here to see the Mona Lisa right it's 15 euros to come into the Louvre 9 million people come and visit this museum every single year so that's a hundred and thirty five million euros a year this painting brings in I'm sure Leonardo didn't think his work would have that monetary impact when he was painting it so we've just come to the start of Champs de Lisi, which is an absolutely stunning avenue which we're going to be walking down we'll show you guys soon but either side are two arches and it's so interesting you see this one looks very Roman like straight out of Italy right and then you look at the details and because of course it's made from Napoleon you see them in their trench coats it's like the closer you look it just feels a little bit out of place but it's still stunning right in front of the Louvre and then we're gonna be walking down this avenue there might be some detours until we get to Arch de Triomphe right at the end 
One, two, three, go! walking along and we saw a gigantic ferris wheel and we we're like should we go on it i feel like it's gonna have amazing views Oy! i don't think hunter realizes and i don't realize how high we're about to go steve <laughs> it looks big up and, down. up and down and round and round and round that's right so called cool, the eiffel tower is just there <laughs> <laughs> i can see eiffel tower arc de triomphe and notre dame oh. and the louvre all from this ferris wheel tower. the tower what is it the eiffel that's right! This is definitely one of those things you're like, oh yeah, it looks touristy because it's a Ferris wheel, but you generally get some really cool views up here. Look, we're going up high with almost at the top! Wow! Yeah, look at this on top. Look at the tower! Wow! <laughs> this is beautiful! Now we're going down! We're going down now! I told you that you had nothing good to say. Oh, what's that in front of us? What's up there? A baby doll. A baby doll. A baby doll. Are we going higher and higher? A baby doll. A baby doll. Sorry, as Hatu was saying, we are on top of the Eiffel Tower. What do you see? The water. You see the water? I think you got it the wrong way around, honey. So as you guys can see, we have come up to the top of the Eiffel Tower this morning and it is so special. Me and Jess came here on our very first trip to Europe and now we get to come and take Hunter here and seeing her so happy makes us happy. She's just loving the views, the big, big tower. <laughs> Looking the wrong way through the little spyglass. Hello. It's a good morning. But also, on the entire lead up for this trip, Beck has non-stop talked about these macarons that she had at the top of the Eiffel Tower. She keeps going on it. So I think we're going to need to go pick her some up. Oh, here we go! Happy birthday to you! Hey guys! Open it! Open it! Is it a nummy? What do you think it's going to be? Idea! Idea? Enter! Look! She plays the chocolate pot! Cheese! You'll like this one. This is good, Steve. It's chocolate. It's chocolate. Hold on. Right? Do you like it? Exactly I like can get on board with that. Shirt. That's good. Try is this that one. Yum. <laughs> Hunter, you're having your first macaron this one's really on top good. of the Eiffel Tower. Do you want to cheers to up? Oh, you want to take Dad's? So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, look at me. You're with the girls. So being a creator on the go, from traveling the world with my amazing family, from filming vlogs to taking photographs, I need to make sure that I have a laptop that is both powerful and light enough that's not gonna break my back from being too heavy. So with the Dell XPS 13 laptop, I can get what I want done when I want done. So just say I'm packing up at the Airbnb or the hotel and we need to catch our train in 30 minutes, but it's a four hour train, so I wanna make sure that I can get some charge so I can do some work on the journey. And there's a lot of myths behind having a small and thin laptop, meaning not so much power and especially not so much battery life, which is not the case here. By quickly plugging this in and charging for 30 minutes, I can get a four hour charge out of this laptop, which is more than enough for our upcoming train journey. So if I actually decided to pre-plan and fully charge this laptop, I would get a full nine plus hours out of this laptop. And I can get up to 13 hours under power heavy applications like video editing or streaming shows. So if I'm inspired by taking some incredible photos at Disneyland and I want to quickly pop together a quick edit, I can easily open up my laptop, transfer footage to my desktop with a Thunderbolt port built in and be editing in seconds thanks to the instant wake up, which wakes us up in one second. So because this has the latest Intel 12th gen core processor, I can edit photos up to three times faster than compared to other premium laptops made in the last two years. So if you're interested in hearing more, I'll leave a link in the description below, but let's head back to the travels. Um, ready? Set. Ready? Yeah, ready? Yeah, do I do. Okay, Go. let's get a ducky. Come on, come on, scoop it up, scoop it up, scoop it up. When you get one, oh, oh. scoop it up, scoop it up, scoop it up. Yay! Yay. Oh, two. And let's see what Hunter wins. Okay, put them in there. Yay! Are they going so high? Oh no, where's Daddy and everyone? Here they come, watch! Whoa. <laughs> what are they doing? They're so high! 
so high. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Are they going round and round? <laughs> Until most of your dry ingredients. Oh, look what they're doing. Look. So we've got blue, we've got pink, you need a different colour. Which one? Wait. Red. Red. Ready and go. Stir, stir, stir. Faster. Faster. I put very little to start with, I think. I did work. Good work. Did you cover down? Awesome. <laughs> So when we were in Italy, we did the best Nonna cooking class. We loved it so much that we were just like, you know, every place we need to go to, we need to find somewhere to do a cooking class. And seeing as we are in France, what's more French than making some macarons? So we've come to this beautiful Parisian house right in front of the Eiffel Tower. From his kitchen, you could see the tip of the Eiffel Tower. And this morning started with us tasting the beautiful different flavors, picking what we're going to make. That gets the first taste. Delicious. <laughs> See, join us for the tasting yeah, house. Look at it. Daddy taste? Oh. Mm. Oh, that's tasty. Uh oh. What's daddy's nose? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's dirty. It's on daddy's <laughs> We decided to go for the lemon, the chocolate, and the caramel. Beck's favourite. And then we went from preparing our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. Hunter Health picked up some colours. Did you make meringue? I did. And now we're up to the tricky bit, our meringue tops. You gonna help daddy? Okay. Mm. <laughs> um, excuse me, Missy, eating it. All right, you gonna help me? Stand up. Hold. Oh, and mm. I'm big daddy, it's so high. You're so high. Hunter, can you say macaron? Macaron. Good girl. <laughs> This smells amazing. I'm currently making the caramel filling. Oh my gosh. And as you can see, Hunter gave a tick of approval for the lemon and the chocolate filling. Is it good? Thank you. So much fun. I just love doing these cooking classes. It's nice too because it's something that all the kids can get involved in. Yeah. Even Hunter, even though she sneakily just tastes everything. Hello, Michael. Oh, ready, steady, taste. <laughs> What's it taste like, honey? Does it taste like a macaron? Here you have pretty much the right size. Like it goes all the way to the edge, but doesn't go beyond the edge. Hunter, want to come help me do the chocolate? Hunter, you made a macaron. Look how good you made it. Look, put a macaron. Come on, look at that. That's so good. Currently staring out a Parisian balcony with a macaron that we handmade. Let's see what they taste like. Let's try raspberry. The real fruit. The banana. Ah, delicious. Mm, that is so good. Everything freshly made tastes like infinitely better than buying at the shop. Even if we're not expert French bakers, but wow. Such a fun experience. Everyone loved it. Of course, with any experiences, I'll link it all below for you guys, but wow. Such a fun way to start our morning. That was fun. Took us about 40 minutes to scoot over here from the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at that. Wait for it. Other side of town, so it's really fun to come out here on a scooter and come to Sacre Coeur. Definitely saying that wrong. It just looks absolutely stunning. So this is a Roman basilica and it's almost 100 years. No, it just hit 100 years. And you're probably wondering why it's so famous, why a lot of people come out here. One, the area is so stunning if you want those Parisian houses worth coming out here. But two, the reason this is so famous is it was built during a time when a lot of the churches were being dedicated to Mary, Jesus' mother, but this church was actually dedicated to Jesus. So it definitely would have made headlines <laughs> back in the day. But also it's so stunning to come and check it out. So just next door is a area, a district called Montmartre, and it's really beautiful. It's so Parisian, so French. There's a lot of colour around here, a lot of restaurants, very lively, a lot of artists. You can kind of come get drawn or buy some artwork. It's a very beautiful part of Paris. 
no, stumbled no. across a gelato spot. Jess is gonna kill me. <laughs> Do you know what this hat is called, Hunter? It's called a beret. Except this up here, guys. Well, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Macaron! He's <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Alright, pop it, Stevie. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> to end our final night in Paris, we have come out to have a little bit of a family picnic in front of the Eiffel Tower. Cheers to Paris! Cheers! Drink it up! Hunter, what's going to happen to the towel? 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 It is just so magical when you see the Eiffel Tower light up. We've been waiting. At the moment, it's currently sparkling around 10 p.m. It is so beautiful. Who told you that you had nothing good to say? Well done. Hunter. every one of your words still ran through my brain. Hunter, do you want to go on the horsey ride? Horsey ride? In Switzerland, we told you guys the next series would have three horsey rides. First one, Colmar, second one, Disneyland Paris, and the final one, here in Paris, in front of the Eiffel Tower. I feel all emotional watching Hunter on the carousel. So we're here seven years ago, and I always said, when we have kids, we're going to come back here, and we're going to have a little one, and they're going to ride that carousel, and today was that day. And with that, we wrap up our incredible and unforgettable three-month trip to Europe. We have explored so many beautiful and wonderful places and made so many amazing memories. But stay tuned, as we have so much planned for the rest of the year.